so the goal of our team is to uh, design and build a uh, hydrogen vehicle. So Shell kind of puts on this whole competition and they set out the guidelines, what rules we need to adhere to, and, and we compete for best fuel efficiency and fastest time around the track. Really what we want is to show that hydrogen can be a viable alternative as a future clean energy source. It's just to give training and experience to people who, who are in um, undergrad and would like to get experience in the industry and also at the same time do some research on renewable energy to make the world a better place. We have five divisions of the club, the mechanical team, our fuel cell development team, the electrical team, business admin, and our outreach team. Our electrical team integrates with the mechanical and fuel cell team by just collaborating. They tell us constraints and requirements that they need for each of the boards and what voltage they're allowed to output from the fuel cell and what current limits they have and what our requirements are. Hydrogen energy is an extremely renewable source of energy and many people don't know that it's viable for a fuel source in a vehicle. So what the fuel cell offers is very quick refueling time. So five minutes, the Toyota Mirai refuels in less than five minutes, range of I think it's 500 kilometers. So you would basically be able to drive a car as if it was a car that uses gasoline nowadays. Last year we had the board fail and so we've made some changes so we can have a temperature sensor and humidity sensor on it making sure that we can calibrate it effectively wherever we are. The big innovation is now having microcontrollers on every board, each of our modules, and using CAN to communicate between everything. This is a protocol that's used in all vehicles because it's a very reliable communication protocol and you can get messages sent and received all around the car. The Tektronix MSO scope allows us to look into what is happening on those lines and it can actively decode the message and we can actually see what's being sent and received. With the Tektronix MSO, we're really able to see through the noise and properly test our systems to know that they're reliable and robust for the competition. It's like you're seeing into the electrical world. So that's, that's really helpful from a learning point of view and from a development point of view. Why we create a new car every year is because it gives everybody who joins the club each year the same experience that other people would have in the previous years. You get to work on all the systems brand new. You get to integrate the knowledge from previous years and your own knowledge that you bring to the table into the new model that you build. So our senior members kind of help teach and build up the newer members. We have in-person work sessions, so that's where we can really build our hands-on experience. It's hard for us to find people interested on, on uh, renewable technologies, again, especially in this province where it's so oil and gas dominated. They're one of the few ambassadors for renewable technologies. Due to this Tektronix MSO, we can actually train our new members into this industry standard oscilloscope, which they can then use on their resumes and on their job applications to say that they have training in such areas.